conceptual perspective. Talk about Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time. You know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse. Uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you. attention to variations in concepts and engagement on a social level uh, from linguistics to postures uh, to certain behaviors everything from sagging to how we address one another uh, and I want to talk about that uh, while I'm doing that I want to uh, remind you you saw the uh, intro to this video so you know the importance of supporting the work we do so i'm challenging you support the work that we do look am i the only one i'm sure i'm not but am i the only one that has a problem with a male especially an adult male but even a teenage male or any male calling a female bro a bruh it's bad enough that we have females calling each other bro and bruh and I know there's here, here, here comes the it's just group you know it's just entertainment it's just words it's just culture it's just and we don't understand there's no such thing as just in in, in the light of social uh, progression, social engagement, social development, uh, social maturity, and, and, and all of the other things that come along with it. You, you, every Everything, linguistics is so important. And everyone knows it except us. Everyone knows it. Everyone knows that slight variances in engagement creates things. Uh, everyone knows that while you, you change the N-word from E-R to A, that it still had a negative connotation on a very subconscious level. And we know this because let someone else outside of ourselves call us that, and it's a problem. When something, when there's nothing wrong with something, you, 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 anyone can address you. Anyone can address you as king. Anyone can address you as sir. Anyone can address you as Mr., Mrs., um, Anyone can address you as your highness and beautiful and handsome. All of those things. Why? Because universally they have a positive connotation. Nobody's going to get upset because you tell them they're beautiful unless it's one of those chicks that just tired of getting hit on or in, in their feelings or just got a bad attitude. But we ain't even on that right now. We're on this. So let's get back to it for a second. Look, 
if you've got to limit who can call you that, like ladies, bad B, or just B in, 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 in general, it's not something you should be allowing someone to refer to you as. It's not something you should be referring to someone you care about as. Be very careful, careful. The power of linguistics can never be underestimated in the manipulation and control of groups. Now, you've got a bunch of dudes out there calling their significant other, bruh and bro and it's all good because it's a part of the culture that's just what the young folks know let me explain something to you that's a part of your subconscious that sees things on a level you don't see it consciously consciously you can say that's cultural all you want to subconsciously you are being called a man by a man subconsciously he's calling a female a man at a certain level he's putting her in a category with him so when you want to know why it's so easy for him to pop her upside her head when she gets out of line because she's a bro She's a bro. Why you want to know why she accepts it? Because as a bro, I'm supposed to be able to throw hands and stay it and take it and do whatever. Ladies aren't being ladies because we aren't treating them as ladies. Men aren't being men because we aren't demanding manhood from men. And we've got all these variations of everything except what we should be. And we are wondering why we're getting the results we're getting. At some point, you have to stop screaming white racism, uh, white racism, white supremacy, and you have to start looking at self-harm. You have to start looking at self-hatred. You have to start looking at things and say, wait a minute, is this the way that I'm supposed to be moving? Is this the way I'm supposed to be carrying myself? And I'm not talking about judging your scale, judging yourself on a Eurocentric scale. The Eurocentric idea of what is, what's beautiful, what's handsome, what's professional, what's classy. Uh, no, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about how do you want to be respected? What are the things that you want to see in yourself? There's no power or intrinsic value in being a bruh for a female. Bruh is an endearing term for men. And it has limitations. Everybody shouldn't be called a bruh. And when you use it, that should have something to it. If I call you bruh, that should say I see you in a positive light. You know, we 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 we, we take things and we slang them around. We 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 diminish things that should have value. If I call you bro a bruh, I, I I see you as in some way in kinship. Maybe not in my bloodline, but in in, 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 in 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 heritage and in existence. And so it means something to me. I don't call everybody bruh. And I'm definitely not going to call a female bruh. And I am definitely will not call my significant other bruh. It's baby, bae, sweetheart, love, or her name. It's never going to be that. That is a problem that we don't even see exists because we just roll with things. We And we don't ask how we, how did we get there? Can somebody tell me how do we get to calling our females bro and bruh? How does it become acceptable? Kids calling female teachers bro and bruh? Shit, ha half these children don't know what sir and ma'am means. And we think it's okay, but there's that there's a level of respect that comes with sir and ma'am, Mr. and Mrs. that allows for correction, that allows for guidance, that allows for leadership that's so hard to have right now because everybody's on a first name basis. There's no level of respect. Everybody feels they can say what they want to and do what they want to to whoever. There's no hierarchy. There's no gender role clarity. And it shows in our performance. It shows in what we're able to do and not do. I'm telling you now, we got to do something better than what we're doing. It's that simple. On that note, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. But, uh, 
by the time I post this, I'll be back. Uh, either I, I, I won't be here. I, I, I'm going to go ahead and do some uh, post post production on it. But show some love, show some support, and support the work we're doing. There's so much we need to do just by the things that I talk about. I talk about them because they are real issues. These aren't pet peeves. These are observances from someone whose area of expertise is in this area. And I can tell you, and again, if you haven't read Born in Captivity, uh, my 19th book, you need to go into the description box, click that link, get Born in Captivity. I'm going to be introducing you to some strong principles out of Born in Captivity over the next two weeks. And I want to open up conversation about what's possible and what we're opportunities we're missing because we don't understand how things work. On that note, look, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. You guys have an unbelievable remainder of your day. I'm going to try to do the same. And on that note, I am out of here. Peace.